Good morning guys. So I'm here today to share with you another amazing food adventure. And this is one of the most festive foods in Philippine cuisine. McDonald's. I just had breakfast. I had sausage McMuffin, my favorite. Of course, with cheese. I went here today to meet an amazing lady who sells pre-loved books. Anyway, so today we're going for another food adventure. Now, a lot of native cultures have their own version of their roast. But in the Philippines, the most famous and most festive roasted kind of food is the lechon. A lechon is normally pork, roasted pork, but some would also roast chicken, beef, or turkey. So today guys, I will show you some of the amazing spots where you could get lechon without actually breaking the bag because we all know that lechon can be expensive, but it tastes so good, right? So join me guys in this food adventure. must be flavorful so let's start with the skin and let's see how it tastes like That just melts in your mouth. It's that super flavorful and good. As you may know, I ordered the spicy, but from the way that I'm seeing how they make things, I think the garlic is also flavorful. So I think the only difference is that this one has red chilies, Barcelona Labuyo, and that one has the original flavor. Let's go now to our next destination. Uh, a lot of people think that they can only find lechon in Cebu, especially those who don't live here. But the truth is, lechon is 
history of the Filipino culture in general. So it wasn't just there. It's just that many people preserved it there. Uh, if you are in Metro Manila, the Lechon capital is La Loma. But nowadays, there's lots of Lechon places that have sprouted. So after I ate at Manila Lechon, I went to Lechon House where I ordered the similar dish. Both of them are serving lechon belly, so it's pork belly, and the skin is there, of course, a crispy skin. Compared to lechon house, Manila lechon has a crispier skin, but it's more like chicharon, the crackling texture. Whereas the Lechon House skin, it's more similar to the classic Lechon or close to Porchetta style. The Chon House originated in Iloilo and if you haven't visited Iloilo or tasted Ilongo dishes, they are actually pretty good at roasting. They're very known for chicken inasal, which is grilled chicken. So I bet they know how to cook with them. And after eating there, I compared the food. So the rub or the herbs that they use, it, you could sense the difference. But they're both good. It's kind of hard to compare. And after that, I went around. Went around, still tried to look for lechon. So I went to Lydia's lechon. And Lydia's lechon is one of the classic lechon places that you will find. Like you know, pork, a whole pork, and then they're going to chop it, and it's the brown skin. And what I like about Lydia's Lechon, in general, they have kept the standards, you know. Um, to be honest, the meat inside is not as flavorful as Lechon House or Manila Lechon. But you could taste um, some sort of pureness to it. It's it's not overpowering at all. The skin, unfortunately, wasn't as crunchy as I expected it to be. Perhaps because they already cooked the before, and then they would just chop it for you as you order. But their sauce is really special, you know, it has this um, 
peanut tea taste bit and there's actually bits of peanuts that you could see from the sauce which is why I think they tried to make the the herbs not too strong so that you can blend it with the sauce and the side dishes like oh my gosh the vegetables were cooked so well after eating at religious restaurant I didn't stop there I'm here now at a bookstore at National Bookstore I'm trying to convince myself not to eat again but I don't think I can ever stop so join me at another Lechon stop So I went to another Lechon place called Salo and they said that they are you know serving uh, Lechon Belly in different ways so I tried to you know explore the flavors and I tried their uh, Kinilao na Lechon which is close to Kinila is like ceviche. Okay, that's how it tastes like. So it's not raw. It's cooked pork belly, crunchy skin, and soft inside. And then they put the dressing. And they served it with um, side dish as well. I chose pinape, which is a very famous northern Filipino dish that composed of okra, um, kalabasa, string beans, and shrimp. Thank you! But, like the lechon itself, it was the bomb. Like I didn't expect that lechon would do so well as a ceviche. You know, like the kilawin style. Kilawin is very native but the taste is close to ceviche so I'm just trying to say that so you can figure out the taste and my gosh the saltiness from the skin of the lechon and the herbs that goes with it and then the vinegar and the rest of the spices the onion the tomato the chilies the green pepper the ginger the black pepper and whatever they put in there it just soaks up the meat and when you eat it, it just makes sense so I know there are lots of different lechon places and most of them will claim that they are the best but that's about it I guess you know every family would have their version of a dish and they will make sure that it's something that satisfies what they're looking for so that's why everybody would claim it's the best but I guess everyone who likes Lechon would agree um, that the three most important things that you should look for in the Lechon crispy skin soft and flavorful meat inside juicy and if they're serving sauce it must be good on its own whether it's sarsa or um, vinegar or soy sauce and some spices it should be flavorful enough and they should all blend together <laughs> so if you have met those three things then you're having a great job <laughs> to end this video I went to a place called Ama and they're not yet officially launched here in the Philippines. They're a Singapore-based uh, pastry shop. And I got their Milo drink. They call it Milo Dinosaur. And for those of you who don't know what Milo is, it's a chocolate drink that's very famous in Asia. And yeah, they serve it in a way that would remind you of your childhood because it's too potent your mom won't let you drink it so yeah and then they gave me a free angel cheesecake which is a perfect match i wanted to shout out to paul uh lara gian nika raisa nikolai and the 
rest of the people who have been following me on my channel, on Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, I also have a Twitter account, but I'm not using it much yet, but we may be soon one day if I have the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing food trip. And let me know if you have comments, suggestions, or if you want to share a meal with me one day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!